Hey what's up guys and welcome to another old school video. My progress on fishing, which I need to get to 50, is 38, so I'm getting there. And my farming is, I think it was 17 before and now it's 21. And I will get probably another level as well. I still have two more trees I think planted. I'm planting oak trees because I'm so low level. I'm just going to pay this guy to remove the tree. I think that's the easiest, I really can't be arsed cutting it down with a hatchet. Let's plant that and pay and I'm going to be going for 40 on farming just slowly by doing tree runs and I'm going to be doing I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for smithing yet I might just buy some steel bars or something and uh, craft something I don't know what I'm going to do I have to read up on that and then for my fishing I'm just going to do trout and salmons all the way because it's just the fastest and I don't really need to fish like lobsters to get money or something uh, and also I just hit 1000 total so that is pretty cool. I'm also almost at 10 million total experience, so uh, getting some nice progress done. All right, there we go. That's 50 fishing. It actually didn't take as long as I expected it to be. It was, okay, I caught 1,474 trouts and salmons, but that was from level 32 two or something like that i'm not completely sure so i've done more than that but maybe i've done like 1.8k of them or something and then shrimps and anchovies before that 220 and it really didn't take that long but anyways that's 50 fishing done now i'm gonna have to look into how to get 50 smithing and i'm still doing farm tree runs all right so i bought 2000 iron bars they're in my bank currently but i think the plan is going to be to make iron two ages and then at 33 make the plate bodies uh, and then i don't know how far i will get with 2000 iron bars but if i get to level 40 for this and i'm still not 50 i'm just going to do uh, steel two ages or plate bodies if i'm already at 48 or something so we will have to see how that goes but I'm going to use all these 2,000 iron bars and I get back to you guys with what level I got to. So in total I used 2,000 iron bars and 530-ish. I bought 30 now because I'm so close but like 500 something steel bars and I'm about to get 50 smithing. Here we go. That was not that hard. Actually it costed me like 500k maybe or 400k. I sold some stuff back as well so maybe it even cost like 300k. But now the only thing I have left is farming and I'm 26. So I do have oak trees planted right now, and there we go by the way, 50 smithing and 1039 total, above 10 million experience as well in total, that's pretty cool. But anyways, uh, I'm now going to just plant some more stuff in farming, because I want to get that fast to 40, and I don't want to wait for every single tree, so I'll just do some herb runs or something, and maybe, I don't know what you can plant at this level actually, but I'll just figure that out, and I'll get back to you guys when I'm 40 farming. So I'm 28 farming now, but meanwhile I wait for my stuff to grow. I'm going to do some Slayer, and I'm using, by the way, the Lash thing on my whip, because I need pretty much all the different stats. It doesn't really matter that much which one I train right now. And I'm going to be using Neve now, because I've been using this Sanaris one, and that's for 70 combat, and Neve is for 85, and I am almost 90 now, so I think it's about time I use this. Let's see what I get. 146 blood welts. I think that's a pretty good task, actually. Oh, I was like 200 experience to 66 Slayer. Pretty neat. And I just hit 72 defense as well. Did I get a combat level for that? Yeah, I did. I just got 90 combat. That's actually pretty huge. And also, by the way, if you noticed, I changed my gear setup to Dehydes instead because I realized these are magic creatures. They do magic damage and there's no reason to have dragon armor. So that was pretty stupid of me. But I'm 23 kills left, so I'm about to be done with the task. So I don't think my trees are done just yet, but I also hit 66 strength from 65 in the end of that task. And I also got 12 points, I have 82 now. I am thinking about maybe buying a slayer ring, because with that you can teleport literally right to Neve. But I don't have enough points to do that right now, so I'm just going to get another assignment. Let's see what we get. 19 black dragons. Uh, yeah, I can range that. I have pretty good range level, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Well, I can't say I was a big fan of the Black Dragon task, but it was like 4k Slayer experience or something, and I didn't really track the range experience, but I guess it wasn't actually that great. It was a fairly fast task because it was only 19 of them, but it was still not the best one. At least I got some Slayer points for it, and I'm now at, what, 94, I think? So, uh, yeah, that's not too bad anyways. Let's get a new one and see what we get. Blood Vents again. Very nice. I love that experience from those creatures. 
So I bought some willow saplings and I'm going to be getting 30 farming on this tree right here. There we go. And now I can uh, plant willow trees instead and get vastly more experience. Like these oak trees give 467 and these willows is going to give like 1.3k. So it's quite a difference. Oh, I forgot to equip this one. And I do pay for them because it's like 1k per tree extra with these uh, apples. So it really isn't a big deal and I'd rather do that than have them die. Anyways, I completed the Bloodveld task and I am pretty close to 67 Slayer. I only need like 15k experience and in terms of the other combat stats, none of them are really that close to leveling. I guess HP is a bit close, but not really that close. And let's see what the new task is. 173 Aberrant Spectres. Haven't done those in quite a while, but I think they're pretty good money actually because of the herbs and all that you get. And probably not that hard of a task to do. So because I got that Aberrant Spectre task, I actually decided to just buy a Slay Ring because I can teleport to the actual place where the Aberrant Spectres are and then I can just teleport back real quick to Neve. So it is very good and it's going to save me a lot of time and actually the tasks you get from Neve are pretty neat anyways and I don't really want to skip that many. And uh, I should be getting a lot of Slayer points anyways because I'll be doing a ton of Slayer in general. Alright, so I have 9 Aberrant Spectres left and I just hit 67 Slayer, you can see that in my log right here, just hit 67. And uh, I have made probably like 250k from this task, okay I don't want to die, maybe I should eat. Uh, but yeah, and also I am pretty close to 67 Strength and uh, I'm going to get a new task after these 9. You can actually see one of the trees I've already planted here, so I'm just waiting really for my willow trees to grow. I have five or four of them up, I think, and then I have some herbs still, the Haralanders or something like that. So I'll be doing uh, some more farming gains in the near future, but let's see what we get as an assignment. 136 Greater Demons. I don't think that's very good money, but it's probably pretty decent experience. Holy shit, like I've been playing on my phone a bit, so I did the greater demon task and I did a farm run, so I'm actually 34 farming now and I can actually do another farm run after this task is done and I am done with it now, but I got a black demon task of like 150 or something and I swear that took like 3 hours to complete. Yeah, it's pretty painful and it's not actually that great uh, experience either, so... I'm going to prefer to not do this task in the future, but it depends if I have the points to skip it or not. And at the moment I don't really have the points, but 70k for that. And I did actually hit 81 ranged as well, so that's pretty huge I guess. And I'm 21 off uh, 68 Slayer. But I'm going to do another farm run now. I, I'm pretty sure my willow trees are ready. And then I'll get back with another task and what level I'm at. Okay, so this is the last tree that I can check the health on and I'm going to be like halfway to 38 and I think that on the next run that I do on willow trees I should be getting 40 farming. If not, it should be the one after or I can just maybe do some herbs and I should be good. Anyways, let's just uh, plant this and then pay for that and then get a new assignment and see what we get. Blood Veld's, as always, great task. I've got so many Blood Veld tasks this video, holy shit. 75 attack, huge. And just in the end of the task with 3 left, 68 slayer as well. That's actually pretty huge because that is spiritual warriors. Dude, what? I'm on a steel dragon task and I get a dragon spear. I have no idea but I feel like that's extremely rare. But that is going to be enough of Slayer for this video and let's actually get these quests done. I'm about to hit 40 farming, it should be on this herb right here. And there we go, 40 farming. Now all the requirements are done for the quests and I'm going to start doing them. I didn't even notice it but I also had to complete Sogre Flesh Eater which actually means I had to complete the Chompy Bird quest as well. But anyways, that's done now and let's do Sogre Flesh Eater. Alright, here we go, this is going to be Sogre Flesh Eater completed, there we go. And now I can do Rum Deal. And that is ROM deal completed for 50 total quest points. Let's see what levels I got as well. I got 41 farming for that. It's pretty neat. Let's see cabin fever. I only need to do pirate, pirate's treasure now. So I'm very close to being able to complete that clue scroll that I did all this for. And that is the pirate's treasure quest completed. Extremely easy. Like actual 5 minute quest. So now I should be able to do cabin's fever. So let's get that done. And boom. There we go. That's all the quests completed. 7000 agility. Am I gonna get any levels from that? Or actually, I'm actually already <laughs> pretty high agility, but I, that makes me pretty close to 56. But now, after all this questing and progressing, I can finally complete the hard clue, so let's do that. Alright, let's see what this hard clue is going to give me. Another clue. Great. Well, this one is really easy, I can do that. 
I actually got another step after that which was in the wilderness, but I could easily complete it, no requirements or anything like that. So let's end the video now with one of the worst harder clues you will ever see in your life. Okay, let's open this and see what we get. Well, it's actually not that bad. 100k in Alkeballs or, well, I can just... This is like... Oh my god, this is... So, if I was an Iron Man, this would be the dream, actually. But I'm not, so it's just 100k worth. Could be worse, I guess. But anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.